Hey guys, Nate from Bushcraft Ridge coming at you. I uh, wanted to do a quick video. I talked in another video about uh, converting this uh, steel tin uh, so that I can make char cloth with it. Um, and originally I was going to do this with uh, a drill bit. Uh, my purpose of, of the, the reason I like drill bits uh, is uh, if you use a nail uh, to punch the hole in the tin, uh, you can sort of bend it, bend it out of shape. It might affect the seal. Uh, so I was going to use a drill bit, but I, I can't find my drill bits today. So uh, I'm going to use a nail. Uh, so the reason uh, we put a hole in uh, the airtight tin uh, for making char cloth uh, is to create a vent. Um, when you're uh, making char cloth, the idea is that uh, uh, you, uh, you put the cloth in the tin, you seal it, you put that on fire. So why doesn't the cloth just burn uh, inside the box when it's on fire? Uh, well, it's because it can't get oxygen. Uh, without oxygen, you don't uh, end up, uh, you can't create flame. Uh, so the cloth just turns into like a charcoal. Um, what you're doing is superheating uh, the chemical elements in the cloth, like the water, for example, uh, which makes the cloth more moist, and uh, uh, superheating that so that it vents out. Uh, so that, so that uh, those chemicals can vent out, you need a hole. So that's what we're going to do right now. Um, so like I said, using a nail, uh, what I want to prevent doing is uh, bending the top in the process uh, when I strike the nail. Uh, so what I came up with was to use just a little piece of 2x4 uh, fall off that I had in the garage. And uh, I'm going to put the flat side of the tin box flat on there so that it's got support all around. Uh, and that way when I punch it, it's not putting a lot of pressure in the middle uh, and this has nothing to, to press against to keep it to keep its shape. Uh, so we'll try this. Hopefully it's going to keep its form. So I'm going to hold this nail firmly in the middle and strike it through. So it did just what I wanted. It went through the tin and into the wood without bending the tin. And now I've got a perfect little hole. Uh, one more step uh, to this, uh, where I created the hole. As you can imagine, uh, the metal folded out. I think you can see that there. Uh, punched out. Uh, so it's kind of sticking up. There's a little bit of a burr there where the hole was created. That's to be expected. Uh, so I'm going to take a flat metal file, or the flat side of my metal file. Now I can make char cloth. Oh man, so many great activities to look forward to. Thank you all. Uh, if you want to join us in some of our fun activities out on Bushcraft Ridge, go to www.bushcraftridge.com and uh, come join us. Uh -huh.